hello guys welcome to another tutorial session so this is going to actually be part two of the previous session we had where we had an introduction into react gs so for this lesson we are going to be talking about gsx its power and actually how it actually affects your entire application and a lot of other cool stuff you can actually do so um gsx actually stands for the javascript xml just as the name goes you know what xml means so xml is a language that actually enables you to create your own tag so we are actually going to be covering that and you're going to understand a lot more about gsx so i'm going to head straight away and clone this repository so you can also go there the links the repository is going to be provided in the video description below so you can go on ahead and do it on your own so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to go within visual code studio visual studio code and i'm going to clone it So I'm going to go on ahead and create a new folder and actually put that inside. So I'm going to just name mine JSX like that. I'm going to go on ahead and select open. So open that in Visual Studio Code. So we actually have that repository opened in our code editor. So I'm going to go straight away to our terminal and we are going to run the application to see what we did previously. So I'm going to see into React YouTube video. And within that, I'm going to do npn install since we just cloned. So we could install the packages and get the modules. So while that is actually installing, so let's just have a walk through um, a quick revision of what was done in the previous. So if you go within the source folder, you're going to actually see the app.js, which we have a very simple function. So it actually returns this um, GSX expression, which is actually a div with its child elements. You have it as stated below. So Um, GSX file actually go with the extension of the GSX and what this actually allows us to do is instead of you including um, let's say like JavaScript within HTML it actually enables you in this case write HTML within JavaScript so we are going to see how to create um, 
a GSX file. So we have created a file called home.gsx. So I have this um, extension that um, the ES7 React Redux. So you can go on ahead and install that. It actually enables you to generate um, code snippets for your application. So you install that one. So we are going to proceed. So we have this um, GSX file created, which is um, actually home dot. Yes, and what this actually enables us now is that we can actually move in within this our app.js and actually call that instead of writing all of this. So if we delete this and we do home, so we it's automatically imported from home that um, from pages. We have that and we close it like this. So if we now move on to our browser, we are actually going to see um, this text home which actually comes from that page. Now let's dive in a little bit more. So on top of this, I'm actually going to create a variable. Let's just call this um, counts. And I'm going to display that here. So I'm going to put an H1 tag here and I'm going to call it counts. And within here, I'm going to do counts. So you actually write JavaScript just like what you do in vanilla chess, but in this case, you actually open this brackets and you put in the variable count inside for it to actually display so i'll go on ahead and format that so it looks nice and when we come to our browser we actually see a count zero and also we actually spoke about um gsx being um the xml for javascript that's javascript um, xml so let's actually see or break that down so if you actually come within app.js you actually see that this is more of like um your own tag which you actually created using um, this JSX file called home.js which you then imported within your app.js and you actually made use of that and we can also pass in um, props um, into this JSX file so if we come here and we do something like um, let's just say counts instead comes from our app and we do something like let's say 45 so count actually takes in a number and we come here instead of declaring counts here we write up here props and we could destructure that or we just do props and we instead of this we do props dot counts just like that and we come within our application here running so we still see the same result we have counts being displayed there as 45 okay so right now we are going to move on to the next step so if we want to destructure this we simply open bracket and we simply pass in counts like that and we have it here so now if we go back so sorry counts not counts so we actually have that so if we come here we see it still being displayed here the same way okay so now let's just create another thing let's say uh maybe contact dot JSX like that and we do this so if we are supposed to probably display um, let's say um, a certain data from the app.js into both components that's the home and the contact so what's actually going to happen is that we are actually going to come within this app we are also going to as you already guessed we, we do the contacts here like that and we also pass in let's just say um contact equals um let's just pass in the random string let's just say this um i'm just going to do that and i come within this contact page and i also do the same thing like that so we have here contacts i'm going to put a colon here same thing here so we have it look nice like that so right now um we go to our browser so what we notice is that we see this contact actually being displayed here with this random number or string that we actually passed so now um what if we want to let an event from our home page actually affects what happened on the contacts page so then now we then now um introduce what we call um states in 